Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Alex Pastashek and I'm a urologist at the University of Utah specializing in men's health. I wanted to talk to you for a minute about erectile dysfunction, or ED, and its treatment with specifically phosphodiesterase inhibitors, which are the main oral drugs for ED treatment. Most guys, believe it or not, have heard about these drugs, since a lot of people have heard of Viagra, which was the first PDE5, as we call them. Other PDE5s on the US market today include Cialis, Levitra, and Stendra. So a lot of men ask, what do PDE5s actually do? So these drugs inhibit an enzyme or molecular machine called, thankfully, phosphodiesterase 5, hence the PDE5 name of the drug, that helps to degrade a critical component of the chemicals in the penis that help men keep their erections. So how can the drug work only in the penis when you take it by mouth? Well, PDE5, the enzyme or molecular machine, is almost entirely located in the penis. So the drug has its main effects there rather than elsewhere in the body, and, helps, and this helps minimize any of what we call off-target effects. So what about the side effects of PDE5s? How do these happen? Well, there are other phosphodiesterases in the body, and the drug, and the drug blocks some of these, or the drug blocking some of these, as well as having some other effects, is what leads to side effects. Some of the most common side effects of PD5s include facial flushing, nasal congestion, and headaches. For Viagra specifically, men can have blue-green vision color changes. Cialis has the specific side effect of muscle pain. These side effects differ between drugs to some extent because Viagra inhibits PDE6 in the eye, which leads to color vision changes, and Cialis can inhibit PDE12 in the muscle, which can lead to muscle aches. However, the good thing for you guys out there is that almost none of these side effects are either dangerous or permanent, and most will go away within a few hours. In fact, less than 5% of men actually stop using these PDE5 drugs because of any side effects. So some of the other main differences between the different PDE5s include how quickly they kick in and how long they last. Viagra and Levitra take about one to two hours to kick in and have a half-life of six to eight hours, whereas Cialis takes several hours to really kick in after taking it, but has a half-life of 16 hours. So some of us call it a weekend long drug because you can take one on Friday and you'll still be good to go on Sunday. Stendra has the shortest half-life, which is only about three to four hours, but only takes 15 to 30 minutes to kick in. So as you can see, you can actually tailor your PDE5 to when you want it to start functioning and how long you actually want it to last. Bottom line, though, is that these are really good drugs that can help a lot of men who have primarily mild to moderate ED. So I would tell any man who's having issues down there to get checked out and to consider trying these drugs if they're recommended by their doctor. I hope this information is helpful. We're here to help you get it up and get it on.